I know we kind of touched on this yesterday, but is there any doubt that you guys are going to play today? Um, as far as we're concerned, we're, you know, we want to play. Um, you know, we want to get on the field. I, you know, I talked about it yesterday. Uh, special day today. I think um, us united on the baseball field will mean a lot to Jackie Robinson and his family. Um, it's what he would have wanted. So uh, hopefully today uh, we get a chance to go back out and field, play baseball. Uh, and you made a lineup shift. Uh, Juan is second and Eaton is down. You've done this earlier in the season, but that was typically when Eaton was getting a day off. So uh, can you explain the shift and, and if we expect to see this going forward? Yeah, I kind of, um, you know, I, wa I want to get some kind of uh, production, uh, you know, somewhere in the, towards the middle, back end of our lineup. Adams actually swing the bat well. Um, so I want to get, you know, kind of get him back. They get like a, a second rejuvenation of our, of, our, of our lineup and hopefully he could get on, hopefully he could drive in some, some runs for us. So um, that's all, you know, get Juan up in the two hole, uh, maybe get him an extra at bat. He's swinging the bat well. Um, today is dh and I thought it would be a perfect time to give him, uh, he had yesterday off, give him another day off his feet, but he still uh, gets to get four or five at bats today. Hey, I know one of the dilemmas you've had the last couple of years when deciding where to hit Juan is, is maybe not wanting him right behind Trey because you worry it might discourage Trey from running. What's sort of the balance there you have to, to play out in your mind as you decide, you know, whether to do it or not? Yeah, I think, um, you know, Trey's actually been, <laughs> he's done it before. He's actually been smart about how to pick his spots, um, where to run uh, with, with Juan hitting behind him. You know, and I told him, I said, hey, don't lose your aggressiveness. I mean, you know, I get it. We want Juan to swing the bat in certain situations where we do definitely want him to hit. He understands that. But there's also, if, if they walk him, you still got some pretty good hitters behind Juan and, and Howie and, and Cabrera. So, um, you know, I just want him to play his game. But, you know, I, I looked at it. We, you know, we, we talked about it. And I think, like I said, for me, this is about um, extending our lineup a little bit towards the middle to the back end. Um, I think Adam's been swinging the bat well, and I think he's going to help us out back there. Trey hasn't run as well for whatever reason so far this year as, as maybe we're used to from him. Is there anything that you've seen there? Or is it just circumstances? Yeah, I think, I think it's just, I think it's just circumstances. Yeah. I mean, we talk a lot about him just going and picking spots and stuff. Um, you know, he, he says he just hasn't really had gotten that groove to where, uh, you know, we saw always, you know, we haven't been actually ahead of a lot of games. So, you know, he's kind of just trying to pick his spots, but um, like I said, I hope that, you know, that, you know, moving forward, that he, no, he doesn't change anything. And when he deems that he has a chance to steal a base, go ahead and steal it. Jesse Dockerty, Washington Post. Hey, Davey. Um, yesterday was emotional for, uh, you know, you were emotional. Your guys, I imagine, were to some extent. Um, what's it been like since? Uh, what was the trip up like? Have you heard guys talking about what happened yesterday? Um, have there been any sort of team meeting type deals at the hotel or any? What's sort of been, what's transpired with you guys? Oh, well, you know, we, had, we had, a meeting, you know, I had a meeting yesterday with the boys. And um, after that, I, I told him, I said, hey, uh, you know, we're, we're, you know we're, we're in a rough, rough deal right now. You know, we all get it. We understand. You know, uh, be mindful, be respectful, respectful of all, you know, all your teammates, all your players, other, other members of, of, of our organization. Um, but yet, you know, let's come back ready to play baseball tomorrow. You know, that's, that's why we're here. Um, and let's have fun. You know, we'll compete and have fun. And, um, just go out there and do your best. I mean, that's all I can ask for, for these guys. And, you know, today they seem upbeat. Um, they want to play. Uh, I talked to a lot of them. They just want to get going and, and play and, and, and uh, hopefully continue to play at the South for the rest of the year. So um, we'll see what happens, you know. I, you know, But uh, like I said earlier, we're, we're here. We're ready to play. And um, hopefully, you know, we do play today. You know, I want to ask this 100% respectfully, knowing that Michael A. Taylor and Josh Harrison are talented baseball players. But did you find that it was maybe – significant for them to be on the field as well as you guys celebrate Jackie Robinson Day? Um, I don't know if that affects your lineup choice at all, but did that, did that at all? Did that at all? No, you know, I, uh, I made my lineup based on, you know, a bunch of information, but after I did, you know, I thought, it, you know, it was kind of nice that they get a chance to play today. I really did. So, um, but that had nothing to do with the, what, how I made the lineup. Um, like I said, I based the lineup on, on information that we get uh, on a daily basis. But, you know, when I, after I looked at it, I said, yeah, it's, Pretty cool that they get a chance to go out there and play today. Thank you. Yeah. Alex Chappell, Madison TV. 
Hey, Davey, Jackie Robinson Day is always a special day around Major League Baseball. Normally, it's played on April 15th. Um, obviously, due to COVID, the date moved, but still a very special day today. What does it mean to have Jackie Robinson Day, and, and what does it mean to you and your team? Oh, it's, you know, he, he, he's, you know, for, for, for us um, baseball players, he, he was the guy that united, uh, you know, and started, honestly, what we call right now is, is our brotherhood. Um, and it means a lot to this game and to every, and to just everybody in this country. So, um, you know, we tip our hats off to, to Jackie and his family. Um, he went through a lot. We all know that. And we respect him. We'll always respect him. And, uh, you know, thank you for what you've done. I mean, because he opened up the doors for a lot of us. Byron Gurr, Madison TV, or MadisonSports.com. Hey, Davey, with Sean Doolittle back, would you like to ease him back in, put him in low leverage, or are you going to put him right in the fire and see what he can do? How confident are you in what Sean can do tonight? Yeah, I mean, we're we, you know, we got to get him in there and get, you know, and pitch. We don't want him to sit there. Um, you know, so I told him, I said, hey, you know, be, be available, you know, uh, every day, and we'll communicate, and when, when you need a day, we'll give you a day. But um, he's here to pitch. He understands that. So, uh, based on, you know, where we're at and, and, and the, the opponent's lineup and stuff, if we deem that, you know, he's the guy to, to you know, get three outs, he's going to be the guy. And he understands that. He's upbeat. He said he feels good. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting him out there again. Davey, you with a, being a baseball lifer, you got to play in the American League with the White Sox. Was it special for you to come back? Uh, or did you have some memories of Fenway Park? Um, we, the Nats don't get to play there too often. Yeah, man. Yeah, this place is, uh, this place is unbelievable. It really is. You know, it's, one of my favorite places um, to play here, you know, and, and Wrigley is Wrigley's the other one, obviously, two of the oldest parks. Um, but it's so much memory, so much history. Um, you know, it's cool. You know, I plan on tomorrow seeing if I can get up to the top of that wall and take some pictures. Uh, and I've done it before. I signed the back of the, the you know, the back of the wall before. But um, it would be nice to go back up there and, and, and see it all again. Thank you. Anything else for Davey? Oh, Todd Davis, NBC Sports Washington. Hey, Davey, this is a very going to be a tricky question for you to answer, and I feel a little unfair asking it, but I'm going to ask anyway. Um, <clears throat> we've seen some really bad home plate umpiring this year since the games have resumed, like four to six inches outside, stuff being called a strike, and stuff right down the middle that was not called a strike. Um, has the umpiring seen – off to you this year and compared to past years or is this just how it goes because it's how uh, it goes you know and i say this all the time i mean um i, I truly believe that they're, they're out they're out there doing the best they can um, mm -hmm. i'll never criticize an umpire ever um they're, they're a huge part of this game you know uh, if you ask me right now you know i'd rather see an umpire behind a plate than than some kind of electronic system um so you know for what it's worth, you know, I haven't got thrown out yet, which is, which is good. <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, we just got to, you know, we gotta tell the players, hey, they're going to miss them, you know, you know, every now and then just keep playing the game, but don't let them take your bat away and uh, try to work through it and, and, you know, try to work a good at bat. But, um, you know, they, they have their good days, they have their bad days, just like everybody else. Why would you prefer them still to an electronic system? I, I mean, I like it. From what I've seen from this electronic thing, I think it's going to be an unbelievable adjustment for, for hitters. I really do. I mean, um, it's the, the strike zone from what I've seen uh, previously, it's, it's large. Um, you know, the top of the zone is the top of the zone and the bottom is, is you know, you know, past your, past your, almost to your ankle. So, um, you know, th th that varies. So it's going to be, uh, you know, I'd rather see the umpires up there and, and call the game the way they deem they call it, you know. And what's good about us is that we get, you know, we get so much information on them too, on um, where their hot spots are, where their cold spots are. So, you know, we we can relay, you know, we can dictate, you know, before the game, hey, this is this is this umpire, and this is what you know he likes to call, what he doesn't call, and uh, it helps our pitchers out. Thank you. Okay. Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. I also have a couple of questions that may be tricky to answer. Uh, last night during the uh, Republican National Convention, uh, Donald I Trump. First. I said it first. I said it first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Were, you, were you ready for that one? Um, <laughs> so he did. He did say a few things. You uh, 
popularized during the playoffs last year. I guess what was what was your reaction to that um, to be that be used during a political event? Yeah, I mean, look, you know, I, I've always told you three things I don't like talking about: is politics, money, and religion. I'm going to stay away from that. I, okay. Like I said, you know, he, he needs to thank my mom. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay. um, were you aware he was going to use those or no? Uh, no. Okay. It was not at all. And then uh, I guess you you don't really want to talk about politics, so this may be tough to answer too. But when you see him using a moment like that during a campaign, um, obviously using it politically, as he tries to get votes. Does anything about that day you guys did last year at the White House? Um, they also did show footage of you guys with him. Uh, do you have any regrets about that day now when, when you see him using that as part of his campaign? You know, for me, it was, it was the whole day, you know, regardless of, it was special. Why? Because we, we, we did something that was, to me, will we'll, we'll live on forever, and that's to win the world championship. So, uh, and that's that's part of it, you know, going get to the White House and, uh, and celebrating. So, um, you know, when 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 I when I saw it and I heard it, the one thing I thought about is is holding up, you know, the trophy, and remembering what we what we did last year, and, and that that's always special. So, um, other than that, you know, you know, I, you know, I just kind of, you know, first thing, you know, I said, uh, I, I texted Cal, I said, hey, I said that first. <laughs> So, um, I mean, that's about the extent of it. You have to get a copyright or something. I do have it, yeah. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, David. I appreciate All it. Right. Anything else for the skipper today? Hey, honestly, hey, guys, it's, it's, it's kind of nice to come out here and, and, and laugh. Um, it's been a struggle. Uh, but it's nice to come out here and see everybody smiling. So, thanks. <laughs>